Scorpio, Sagittarius. Thank you for your views. You get six views. You were top part of the top five. And you are being read priority to other zodiac signs uh, for this week. So I really appreciate your um, viewership. Thank you for viewing. Um, next time, can we get a like, a share, a comment? That would be so awesome. But, um, and I hope that this, my readings are um, hitting home and resonating with you all. It is very, more over than any of it. I hope that it's helpful. Now, in order to be a part of the top five, you would have to be the top viewed video for the week and um, or it has to be your season. If it's your season, like it is, um, it's still Gemini. Well, actually, officially, it is still Gemini season. So um, they were the very first zodiac sign done um and when it's your season sagittarius you'll be the very first one all season long and then i will end it with a celtic cross read like i did for gemini for this week so let's get on into your reading for the week of june 19th through june 26th all right uh Oh, and lastly, if you want a personal reading, um, you can email me. My email will be in the uh, descriptions, and I will uh, schedule with you a reading, a uh, personal reading with me. All right, now, let's get into your reading. Today, I'm going to be using a brand new Cardamancy deck well um deck for cardamancy is called the pleasure pit okay um cards that i'll be using these are uh regular playing cards uh these are from the vegas the authentic vegas line that i got from uh funny enough dollar tree <laughs> so um Yes, so we'll be using this new card for your nine card cardamancy read, and then we'll end it with a um, one card pull from the either Pamela Coleman Smith deck or the Black Tarot deck by Nisha Williams deck. And you see the booklet is over here. Um, personally, uh, just a side note, as I'm shuffling these cards, well, for your reading, Sagittarius X, I, um, would recommend this Black Tarot deck for you, Black Tarot, yeah, the Black Tarot deck for you, if you like a thick, Um, if you like a thicker card deck, but the, uh, industry, the, the illustrations on the card are awesome. Um, and if you just like being black and you proud. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and start your reading off with a prayer. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. You're welcome in this place. I yield myself to you, Holy Spirit, to receive and convey the message you have for Sagittarius for the week of June 19th through June 25th. I pray, Holy Spirit, that this message is a blessing to those who hear this message for the crosswalkers, for the sun signs of Sagittarius, for the risings in Sagittarius, for the moon signs of Sagittarius. I pray, Father, that this message is timeless, that no matter when the person is listening to this message, it hits home for them and they know how to move and what to expect. Glory be to God. And to hear the message that you have for them. 
that the message is coming straight from you, God, straight from you, through me, to the hearer. I thank you for wisdom and discernment to rightly divide these words, rightly divide the message that you have for Sagittarius. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, so we had a few cards that came out while you, while I was praying here. Uh, let's see what we got here. I hope you all like the better view. You may get a little more of me here. You see I have on a dress, black dress, um, but I'm hoping that this view is a little better than the previous view where you can see the full spread. Okay, so um, you got some new beginnings. The Holy Spirit want to talk about these new beginnings here. Um, Ace of Clubs being the center card and the topic of this reading that the Holy Spirit wants to talk to you about. So you may be starting a new job or starting a new business here. Uh, you may be also, it, it may not be a, just, uh, it may be, may not be a new business or a new job, but it may be that you're starting to see progress where you're working, Sagittarius. You may be starting to see uh, a project starting to um, come together. You may be seeing some, um, you may be offered a position where you're working alone mm. or independently. You may be given a position or be moved to a position or offered a job where you're working independently. And I heard that very clearly here um, that it's about working independently. And that's what the Holy Spirit wants to talk to you about. Okay, working independently. Now, looking at the card surrounding, I'm seeing that you may have a difficult decision to make. Um, this, this opportunity of working alone, I know it sounds silly, but it might be a difficult decision where you don't have anyone that would be helping you in this situation. It may be a situation where you might have to uh, leave a, a loved one, you know, but somehow this, this opportunity of working independently is a hard decision. Maybe you have to tell someone, you may have to leave someone behind here. Or... Hmm. Um, the Holy Spirit is saying that it may be, you may be seeing the downside about working independently or working by yourself on a project because um, the way I'm hearing it is You, it, <laughs> the way I'm hearing it is you may want to work alone and it sounds good, but it's not that easy. It takes a special person to flourish in a working independent situation.
and um Mm, Holy Spirit is saying that you are having a difficult decision to make and you have to make it on your own or you're trying to make it on your own. Okay. You're trying to work something out independently, but it seems to me that he is sending you people that is going to help you out here, but you're trying to do it by yourself. Whatever it is, it may not even be a work situation, but you're trying to work something out independently. And it's not easy. And you need these help. You, you, you have this two of um, you have this two of hearts here, um, where it's like you 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 need a um, you have great expectancy here. This is also um, Yeah, you have, um, the difficult decision here is, because this two of hearts is a love card, you may be, um, in a place where you're having to make decisions between a lover and a friend or a lover and your job, okay? And this is the decision that, oh, okay. Yeah, okay, it's coming very clear. You're having to make a decision a difficult decision between a lover and your job or your workplace and your love life here. Okay. Because we both see increase in your love life and in your money here. And you have an opportunity and they both seem to be increasing here. It's almost like you can't take your spouse with you on this journey um, or a loved one on this journey. And that's the difficult decision you may have to do something alone. And it may be a hard decision this is a, a decision that's going on inside of you. I don't think you're giving this person a chance to, because I, I think you're trying to decide if you're going to tell your, your spouse. I'm hearing husband, but you are, it's going to be hard to tell your spouse, who probably is some type of water sign, because you're concerned that they may not like the fact that you have to go somewhere by yourself. You know what I'm saying? That they can't come with you on this, with this. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Because with the three of hearts, I see two hearts going in one direction and one going new. This is you. And it's like, look. Yeah. It's between a lover or your career. Or do you, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's the decision between your lover because you see, I see pinnacles and I see hearts. Everything in here. Most of your reading is between, I mean, I said pinnacles, diamonds and hearts here. So yeah, it's, you're, it's, a, it's you, 
you are having a hard time making a decision between, um, like, you know you're going to have to do this by yourself. You're going to have to make some moves that only you can make. And you cannot take this person along with you. It doesn't mean that you're breaking up. But maybe that's the, the problem, that you are afraid that this person is going to see it as a breakup as opposed to, look, no, I am <laughs> I'm going to build our future. Kind of like if you um, are of the gener Generation X, like myself, uh, we remember a time back in the 60s and 70s where sometimes one parent, usually the father, will go off to New York at that time from Alabama to pursue a job that's now available for, you know, they're, they're going to pursue a job that is um, right and they're leaving the family. And you may be in that position where you're, you're having to lead your family for this uh, opportunity to build your, you know, wealth here. Okay. Now look at, let's look at these threes here, the three of hearts and the three of diamonds. And um, yeah, I think that this is something that you're worried about unnecessarily or it's, it's difficult unnecessarily because we have the um, friendly third party when it comes to this um, three of hearts. And then with the three of diamonds, um, you're seeing <laughs> yes. So you're really agonizing over it because this three of diamonds represents a temporary work situation. So this is a temporary work situation where you, you might have to leave town, you know, for this, um, to, to make this quick buck. Okay. And you can't take your lover with you. Okay. Or you can't take your spouse with you or your significant other with you. Okay. Um, but they, they, they are okay. They, I, I believe that, I think you think that they won't like it or they won't, um, they're going to want to go along. But they are probably, they're more understanding than you think they are. Okay. I really do. I think that They're way more understanding of this position. They're like, go get that money, baby. Go on, get that money. Okay, I'll be right here. Be right here. He's they're, they're going to be right here waiting for you to come back. But I think you think it's going to be a harder situation here. Okay. This job, this temporary position here is going to help stabilize your income. It's, this is what you need right now. Okay, your family will be just fine when you get back, okay? Okay, now with this um, eight of hearts, this kind of like tells me, I'm feeling that your relationship is secure. And you might, you might be concerned about leaving your spouse alone. You, are you concerned that... Um, if you're not there, they may stray or something because we have this eight here of um, hearts here. And um, it strongly indicates the power of love. You know, this in this situation, as you're going off to um, stabilize your finances here, you're going to find that the... the Separation makes the heart grow fonder. Your relationship is safe and secure. Okay. I think about um, if, four, if four of hearts is uh, uh, safety and security in 
a relationship. Your relationship will actually <laughs> the 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 four of hearts is actually the marital bed. So that's a marriage card. So this is commitment to me. It's like it's more than just marriage. This is actual commitment. Okay, someone can marry you and not really be committed. But this the eight card is like your relationship is strong. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. <laughs> I can think about that uh, real where the little kid, don't worry about it, sweetheart. But don't worry about it, sweetheart. Your relationship is safe and secure. You will come back stronger than ever. Okay. But um, we also have the seven of diamonds here, which means that you will be having significant improvement in your income by going off and taking this temporary position okay this is going it's going to really like oh glory be to god some of you sagittarians are actors or or entertainers or writers, you're in the entertainment industry in some way, form, or fashion. Like maybe you're an actor, maybe you are a singer, uh, or a musician, or a, a writer, an author. You may be in the entertainment industry, doesn't surprise me. Most fire signs have some way, form, or fashion in the entertainment industry. You are great entertainers. And um, you have a film you have to go to. And you're leaving your um, family behind. Uh, maybe it's in a faraway place. Uh, it may be your first time, too. Like going on tour, if you in the, you're a musician or an entertainer in that way, a dancer. If you're a writer, you're going on a book tour. And it's going to take you away from your family for a little bit, but it's only a temporary situation like a tour. A tour doesn't last always. It's just maybe starting and it's your first time like going on a tour like this. Okay. And your family can't come because you're part of a band or you're part of a group or you're, this film, you, you, you just can't bring it. It just wouldn't be conducive to what you're doing. But your family is okay. They'll be very thankful when you come back with that bag. Now, the outcome here, which is this corner right card here, is um, indicates that you'll find out you're going to be pleasantly surprised. And that's what I was feeling. Like, I think you're thinking that you're, it's making a hard decision. Do I choose between my family? Do I leave my family for these six months? Or do I stay here and try to make it work on my own? You know, there it is. Try to make it work on your own. You're trying to make this difficult decision. Do I stay here and try to make it work on my own? Or do you take this position? Okay. How, is my, how am I going to tell my wife that I'm going to be gone for six months? How do I tell my wife that she can't come? Or he, my husband, he can't come. Or my significant other, like, um, this is for my career. You know, it, you may have just started a relationship. And it starts out with now you have to be long distance. And you may be concerned about that. But you'll be pleasantly surprised when you tell your significant other or your family. You're going to be surprised that they're going to be amazingly supportive of you, okay? They're going to be so supportive of you, Sagittarius, okay? Now, we're coming to the end of the read. It's time for your final message that you have from the Holy Spirit. What is your message, Holy Spirit? Yeah, I know there's probably those three cards, but you know, Holy Spirit, if you meant... For those to come out, they will still come out here. I predict that you're going to have this, the, this final card is going to be, is going to predict that your family has your back. That your loved one, this 
new relationship be, is all in agreement. You're going to be pleasantly surprised by their support. That's what I feel. I feel like you're going to be pleasantly surprised by their support. Here you have a nine of knives. Let me see here. Okay, yes, you have the nine of knives in reverse. Um, what I see here, there's a, it's a man with his head in the pillows, you know, um, of a, of a sofa. And then you have these three eyes, I mean, these, uh, nine eyes with knives in them. And, um... I mean, the first very first thing is, I feel like you may be trying to avoid, this is something where you're trying to avoid having to tell your lover or your significant other, um, you're trying, it, it's, a, it's a difficult decision for you. And um, like, I, I, I see, You're not facing the problem, but being that it's in the reverse, you're going to face it and you're going to find, you're going to, you're going to finally just break down this week or whenever you hear this, you're going to just go ahead and tell them and you'll be pleasantly surprised here. Um, let's see what the affirmation is for the nine of knives. Let's see here. The nine of knives. <laughs> Funny, is this being in the yin is um, mental anguish. And that's exactly what you're going through, mental anguish for nothing, though. You're taking yourself through this hard decision, and um, you know what I just heard, and it sounds crazy, especially if it's coming from the Holy Spirit. It said, have a drink and just go ahead and tell them about this offer. Okay, the alignment is listened to by Nerial Beats Overnight. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> you are really in a state of distress because you don't know how you're going to tell them, but go ahead and do it. Go ahead and tell them, Sagittarius. You will be surprised at the, the support that you'll receive. That's all I have for you, Sagittarius. You all have a wonderful week or whenever you hear this, have a wonderful, wonderful life. And I'll see you next, next time here on the Black Queen Prophetess channel for your weekly read. I'll talk to you later. Bye.